The number one cause of mini split failure is refrigerant leaks. And so if you have a low pressure and low saturated temperature and a high temperature on the line, that's gonna indicate that you have a very high superheat and that you have a refrigerant leak. And then you, you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to leak search for any uh, possible leaks in the joints. Now, a leaky flare joint could have happened during the initial install. Uh, you could have a problem like that where the technician didn't completely pressure test it well or leak check it with non-corrosive bubble leak detectors. You could have a problem where you have a leaking outdoor coil or leaking indoor coil, or you could even have corrosion on the line sets leading to pinhole leaks due to say white insulation breaking down and there's a chemical reaction that occurs. I've done a whole nother video on that and that's linked down in the description section below, um, but that can actually eat away at the line set copper tubing from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit causing the refrigerant to leak out and therefore your air conditioner heat pump loses the refrigerant and then no longer works. And so that could be the issue